Hey guys, what's going on? So today was a really, really, really crazy day in the market. It's kind of hard to explain. I haven't seen something like this in a long time, at least like a year and a half or two, or maybe even longer. So before I get into it and what I did today, uh, please make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. Uh, really appreciate when you guys subscribe. Uh, it gives me motivation to make these videos. And like I said in my previous videos, you're watching them whenever I buy a position. I said I would make a video. So here we are making a video. Obviously the title is uh, Bought More Tattoo Chef. So if you guys have watched my weekly video series of my big four growth stocks, I'm really focusing on this year, building the positions out. This is one of the four. I really stand you know, true and firm on what I believe in. If you haven't watched my videos, I'm a long-term investor. I believe that's the best and safest way to grow wealth in my opinion. So example to why I'll say examples, I'll give you an example why I think that. So let's just say you were a day trader or you were a person that buys on dips and heights. Well, first off, you'd be lying to yourself because nobody could predict that, nobody. So let's just say you had a bunch of weekly or bi-weekly call options or something like that. Well, if your options expired this Friday and you thought it was gonna run up, well, the market took an insane, insane, insane dip this morning into afternoon. A lot of companies that I was invested in were down between five and like 24%. That is like a massive, massive, massive correction out of nowhere. And then it kind of bounced back in the late afternoon. I think my theory to why it did that was there's a lot of people that aren't experienced in the market and they saw dips or like they saw it crashing and they panic sold. And I think a lot of people that are familiar with what's going on and are prepared for something like that, they took advantage of those dips and now you're back almost at normal levels to where they were this morning. So that's just my opinion on what happened and I'll get into more detail. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a video of basically what to do, how to react, why I think this is gonna happen. I did say in my previous videos a bunch of times that I think there is gonna be a market correction coming up this spring or summer. I still stand by that. A lot of things are overvalued, so you gotta be very careful when you buy things. So let me get into this. So I did make a video Friday on February 19th saying that I actually added to my Tattoo Chef position. My cost base before I added, I believe it was like high 24s, maybe $25. If you go back to my videos, you'll see, but it was $24, $25, just to make things simple. So what I did was I bought roughly 20% of my cost base and that drove, I bought it at 23.34. So that was a little below my, so I'm gonna, I probably had low $24 per share. So basically what that did was it drove down my cost base and this is my average cost base now. So it was 23.39, sweet. So 20%, I put just because it wasn't at my cost base level for man, I mean, probably months. So I was like, man, this is a good deal. If you if you really understand and understand how to value a company and believe in what you're buying, you gotta have the mindset, well, if it's back at this price, if I loved it before and no bad news came out, which it hasn't, why wouldn't I buy again if it's taken months to get to this point? So there's been a lot of resistance at like the $23, $24 range. So I bought 20% more. You know, so that's that was my mindset when buying it Friday. Well, today, when the market basically went negative in, in the beginning half of the day, significantly, Tattoo Chef actually was cheaper than this, but I pulled the trigger and really thought about it. I purchased it today at $20.10. So that's a big, big, big correction dip. The percentage I actually bought based on my cost base, I actually put 50% of my cost base in. So that's a heavy position. So as it hit my, like just to rewind, if you're not comprehending this, my cost base was higher Friday than where it was Friday. So I bought this 20% of my position I put into the stock. Well, now it was way lower than where it was Friday. So I wanna drive down my cost base. So I put 50%. So if you have a $2,000 position, I put $1,000 in today. That's just an example. So I don't like sharing my actual figures because some people I know watch this and I have a, you know, a job and I just don't want people knowing my financial situation. So 
that's why I give percentages. And I think that's what's really important because everyone's at a different level of investing. So some people might have $10,000, some people might have a thousand, some people might have a hundred thousand or a million. So, you know what I mean? So I put 50% down of where my position was. So this actually, this level leads to September level. So you're going back, you know, six, six months. So that's, I mean, that, that, and think about the growth we had in uh, November and December and January, they were monster months going up. So it just shows you how much it reset. So I love that. And, and I definitely want to take advantage of it. And I did. So I just want to go to the one month highs and lows. The high this month was actually 2567 and the low was 1910, which was today. So, uh, it's, it, it's just crazy. I and mean, that's a big, big, big swing for how stable the stock really is and how established it is. And you know, all the news around it and what they're doing. And I made a video about this stock if you want to know more about it. So really, really, really cool. And I'm, and I'm happy I bought it. I don't, you know, obviously I don't regret it because I just bought it, but I don't regret it no matter what, because I believe in this company long-term. So why I think this happened, as I said in the beginning of the video, I think people saw the market dip like five, 10%. And there's a lot of new investors that got scared and then they just panic sold, panic sold, panic sold. And that started hitting auto stop losses, auto stop losses, auto stop losses. So basically what that is, is people that invest, like especially if you day trade or swing trade, you set a price to where if it hits this level, it auto sells for you. If you don't know what auto stop is, that's what that means. So I think it was just compounding and just snowballing it. You know, people were just like panic, 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 panic. Like people that aren't, uh, they don't understand the market. Like people in the past year that started investing just think the market goes up because that's all it's really done really. So you just got to prepare yourself for that. Again, new investors, I think a lot of them got scared and just not in this stock, well, this stock too, but I'm just saying in general, I'm just speaking broad. So I think a lot of people got scared, pulled out, uh, and that's fine. They just need to educate themselves. And, 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 you know, this is my last point is being mentally tough. So what you have to do is if you really understand a stock and you, you, you just understand it at a high level, you watch the earnings, you watch the conference calls, you know, you kind of see the direction, you stay up in the news, you, you, you know, you just stay up to date on these stocks, right? Well, if you understand how things work, and you have cash on the sideline, which I've said in multiple videos, I had over 30% cash on the sidelines. Uh, I did deploy about 5% of it. So, um, you know, so there, my cash just went down, but I don't regret buying it at this or this. So you see what I'm saying? So if it goes down to like 17 to like $15, I'll probably put 100% of my, I'll double down exactly what I have in the stock right now. I will 100% do that. Because I think at the end of the year, the stock will be um, 40 plus easy. So why not take advantage of this deal if you really believe in the company? I don't think it's going to go that low, but if it does, I'll, I'll buy it again. So uh, you just got to be you, you got to be mentally tough. That's 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 what it comes down to. And it's easier to become mentally tough is when you understand how the market works. So if you're in this stock or you watch my old videos and bought it when I said buy, because I do buy, sell, and hold every Friday, don't panic if you're down a little. And if you don't have money. It's okay, it's gonna bounce back. So like, don't sell it, whatever you do, because then you're just losing money and then you're gonna get a bad taste in your mouth about the stock market. It's just not worth it. So let me see where I'm at here. So yeah, so that's that's kind of where I stand on Tattoo Chef. I bought it again, I bought it yesterday. So I told you guys, like I said, I'd make this video ASAP for you guys. If it's anywhere in this region, which I'm sure it will be tomorrow, I mean, if you haven't bought, I'd buy definitely add a little, I mean, I had a 15% of my cost base, so, or 50%, excuse me. So, uh, yeah, so that's all I got. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, also, there could be, it did shoot up towards the back half today. It could be like a bounce back and then dive down even farther. So don't think that you hit the bottom here. I could see it correcting super heavy tomorrow or later this week. So just just tread with caution, have, have cash on the sideline, understand you know, just have cash on sideline and be mentally tough. I mean, that's, that's really what it comes down to. So that's all I got. Make sure you like, subscribe. Peace.